Merry Christmas, um, and I just want to say that being sick um, really sucks on Christmas. I've never been sick on Christmas before, and um, I'm not contagious. I have hydrocephalus, and my shunt is overdraining, and it has been for a week and a half. Um, my um, shunt's still swollen. Um, I didn't really get a good sleep last night, but it wasn't because I was in pain. I actually don't have too many symptoms this morning, although tired. i am also been off my antidepressant um, since the, I don't know, since a, a week and a half right now. So I kind of, I guess, feel a bit like Scrooge. Um, and um, the way it was when um, I called my mom I just called her for something else, really. It was um, nothing to do with my shunt. And so, of course, she's like, how are you doing? And she wants me to be all better, but I keep trying to tell her that, like, why are you saying that? Because my shunt is expired by four and a half years. Well, I guess I thought I told her that before. And she's like, oh, she didn't know that. So, um... She she didn't know it had been since I was 14 years old, I guess, or that I had the last shunt surgery or needed to be seen by a neurologist. Um, and I guess um, she just uh, didn't realize that shunts, they do expire, except for they may not expire today. I'm not really sure because I've heard that they're really a lot better today in 2017. Um, than they were back when I was 14 years old, which was, um, you know, like, tw uh, that was 29 years ago that I had my last shunt. So, um, I don't know, it's just really awkward trying to explain everything to my mom, and she is going on a big, long month and a actually five week trip to India coming up in January, February. So I, it feels awkward because you're like telling your mom that you might get sick, you might need surgery. And at the same time, it's like, well, like, I don't like talking to my mom about this because I don't like it when she worries and things like that. So, um, I hope that I'm going to handle today, okay, because before I was sick, we always um, kind of go out to eat. We're a small family. It's just me, my mom, my stepdad, and my roommate joins us for dinner. So we go to different places like um, the um, casino in Ottawa, and it's really flashy lights. There's not a lot of walls to hang on to if you have a dizzy spell. I don't know if they have a wheelchair <laughs> or if I want one or to risk it. Um, I'm going to have to get her to get my plate because it's a buffet and I can't go up those stairs. And there's so many people and I get stimulation. Sometimes when there's people around, I just have to flee. Not because of my anxiety this time, um, but because of my shunt um, is doing weird things to my head, making me feel dizzy, those sensations, making this energy stuff in my head, so I have to blink a lot, um, and, um, I don't, I always have these fears, right, that I'm going to be carted out by ambulance or something crazy, because that's my mental illness, and, um, if I tell my parents too much or my mom too much, she's going to freak out, and I'm codependent, so it's really, really hard. I don't know what I'm going to do, and I'm just hoping that the lessening of symptoms I feel today is going to behave